uh, polar bears uh, are in serious jeopardy because of the changes in the sea ice. In fact, uh, our report suggested that up to two-thirds of the world's polar bears might be absent from their current range if the projections for sea ice uh, change come to fruition. If polar bear populations aren't doing so well, it's a good indication that the rest of the Arctic isn't doing so well. And the uh, scientists involved uh, in the reports that went to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change have shown pretty clearly that the health of the Arctic and the status of the sea ice has ramifications for the climate clear around the world. So I think that's a good reason to think that polar bears are something that we should consider to be pretty important. And changes in their status, changes in their population welfare are things that we perhaps should take pretty seriously. Polar Bear International has actually funded several projects for us, including one that we're doing right now on hearing sensitivity of polar bears and what impact that has on the health of polar bears. This way, by joining forces, we can collectively make more people aware of the plight of the polar bear, hope that Congress will list them as an endangered species, and we will form the Arctic Amb Ambassadors Program that will be headquartered here at the San Diego Zoo and will be educating young people throughout the world on the plight of the polar bear. Uh, the alliance between this, uh, the Zoological Society and Polar Bears International has one major key. It is to create the greatest generation on conservation this world has seen. Two, 